Hi, everybody. Uh, I heard that you were wanting to, or somebody was requesting the librarian to read. I'm so sorry I haven't been back for a while. We've been kind of busy. I've uh, been making masks for friends and family um, and who are in the healthcare uh, business or having to still go to work and needing masks to wear. Uh, and I've been out in my shop some and we've been building gardens. Uh, many of you may have been doing the same thing. But I brought you out to the shop today. I know I'd been telling you that I would be out here uh, with you at some point. It's nothing fancy. We're praying for a new one before too awful long. But this is where I work a lot of the time when I'm not with you. So I was going to show you. This is, uh, I'll see if I can, you can see some of my tools hanging up over there and some of the things that I've done in the past. But this is my tooling bench. You can see um, some of my tools that I've got that I use. These are my hand stamps. These are some patterns that I've been working on. I've drawn this one today. And this is one that my my granddaughter is real can that we're going to do. She wanted horses and so we, we put this big horse on here and we're going to put some flowers on it. And But after I get through drawing, then I have to cut it out. So I had to turn the light off uh, to do this, but uh, I think it'll, it'll show up good. But I use these big pieces of leather. I don't buy kits. These are some things that my son's been working on. And you can see a few of my cutting tools that I use. Um, this is... Uh, this is my favorite. I can cut long lines with it real easy. And then if I want curvy lines, I'll use this one a lot. You can see this is a keychain that I've been working on. And this is the leather that I cut it out of. So you can see we start from scratch, draw it off, and cut it out. These are some earrings, some new designs that I've been working on. So I have a special story for you. This weekend, I got to go watch my granddaughter at the rodeo and uh, it's one of my favorite things to do she's doing so well uh, some of you know her uh, she's got to come to school and uh, play with uh, I'm sorry play with some of the kids uh, while I'm working and so um, some of you you know Dylan but anyway I have a book that I read to her daddy and to Justin my other son and um, it talks about the rodeo. So I thought this was a good time. Most of my customers are cowboys or cowgirls, uh, ranchers and rodeo people. So I thought this would be fun out in the shop to read this book. I want to be a cowboy. And this is a Sesame Street book. It was written by Liza Alexander and illustrated by Joe Yours. Um, it's a golden press book and published by Western Publishing Company. It was, and this is from 1992, so it's got a little age, and you know I love that. Okay, so here we go. Hi, my name is Elmo. Do you like cowboys and cowgirls? I do. My friend Clementine is a cowgirl. Sometimes she visits from out west. When the rodeo came to Sesame Street, she took me to see it. In the rodeo, the cowboys and cowgirls showed off their tricks. First, the cowboys and cowgirls rode horses around and around in a big ring. The, he the horses looked very proud. Each rodeo rider carried a big, bright flag. This is the prettiest sight I ever did see, said Clementine. After the parade, we all clapped. Then we heard an announcer on the loudspeaker. He said, let's rodeo. Now, those of you that know about rodeo know this is the grand entry before the rodeo. Just then, a horse with a furry blue rider came springing out of a chute into the ring. The cowboy held on tightly. The horse bucked back and forth, jumping and kicking. The crowd cheered, ride him, cowboy. So I cheered, ride him, cowboy, too. It seemed like the furry blue cowboy held on forever, but in the end, the horse tossed him. Thump! He fell to the ground. That event is called bareback bronc riding, said Clementine. Look, Elmo, the cowboy wasn't even sitting on a saddle. The cowboy wasn't hurt a bit. He jumped right up and brushed himself off. 
He was proud that he had stayed on the Bronco for so long. The cowboy threw his hat high up into the air and yelled, Yahoo! I yelled, Yahoo! The entire crowd clapped and hollered. We were all excited for the brave and furry blue cowboy. Then the rodeo clown did flips and poked fun at everybody and made us laugh and laugh. Next, a cowgirl with braids came out on her horse. She chased after a calf. Now watch while she lassos the little critter, said Clementine. That rope she's swinging is called a lariat. That away, I yelled, go, go. After she lassoed the calf, the cowgirl jumped off her horse. Clementine said it was a race to see how fast the cowgirl could tie up the calf. As soon as the race was over, the calf was untied and it ran away. Then Clementine went off to get ready to ride in the rodeo herself. The announcer called out, Hold on to your 10-gallon hats, folks. The next event is the best in the West. Y'all get primed. It's barrel racing time. Clementine and her pony galloped full speed into the ring. She zoomed around the barrels. Her curly hair bounced boppity bop beneath her hat. She was trying to be the fastest. Yay, yelled the crowd, and I yelled, yay, too, to help Clementine win. And she did. After the barrel race, Clementine took me back to the corral where the horses and cows were kept. All the rodeo riders were there, too. Howdy, folks, said Clementine. I'd like y'all to make the acquaintance of my littlest partner, Elmo. How do you do, young Elmo, said the furry blue cowboy. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Marshall Grover. Howdy, little feller, said the cowgirl with braids. I'm Rodeo Rosie, and I'm right pleased to meet you. I shook hands and said hi. Then I asked Rodeo Rosie, what do cowgirls do when they're not riding in the rodeo? Hmm, good question. We work on big ranches called spreads, said Rodeo Rosie. We take care of huge herds of cows. Yes, sirree, said Marshall Grover. We make sure the herds are well fed at all times. In the summertime, we keep the cows moving so they have plenty of grass to eat and lots of fresh water to drink. Cows, I said. Elmo loves cows. Funny thing, said Clementine. So do we. We watch out for the critters all year long. In the wintertime, when the grass is scarce, we drop hay from helicopters so the cows won't go hungry. When it is cold and snowy, Marshall Grover added, we break the ice on frozen water holes so the thirsty cows can get a drink. Yep, said Rodeo Rosie. We work outdoors even when the weather's none too nice. But we're okay because we've got our gear to protect us. Take my hat, for instance. The wide brim keeps the sun, rain, and snow out of my eyes. A hat also makes a right fine pillow, added Clementine. A hat is also a super water scooper, said Marshall Grover. That is why big ones like mine are called 10-gallon hats. That's our life, and it's sweet, said Rodeo Rosie. But now it's time for us to be packing up and moseying on down the road. But I said, please wait, I have one more question. Then I asked Rodeo Rosie, why are your boots so pointy? That's so my feet slide smoothly into the stirrups when I hop onto my saddle. Rodeo Rosie climbed up on her horse. Once I'm in the saddle, the high heels on the boots hold my feet in the stirrups. That way I don't fall off. Cowboy hat, cowboy boots, I shouted. May I try yours on, Marshall Grover? Then Clementine lifted me up into the saddle of, of her horse. Young fella, you look right dandy, said Rodeo Rosie. That's good, I said, because when I grow up, I want to be a cowboy. Yahoo! How'd you like that? Did you hold on to your saddle horn? <laughs> well, it is fun to be in the rodeo. And, you know, my granddaughter likes to play rodeo, and so can you. She likes to put rocks or buckets or anything up out in the yard and run around the the um, rocks or buckets, whatever it is, like she's running barrels. And they like to swing ropes and rope at the 
grass, at the buckets, at the horns, anything. So you could play rodeo too. Well, I'm going to go. Got to get back to work. And so I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you're writing in those journals I ask you to write in. And maybe I'll see you again really soon. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.